Uh, the ceremony was very special to our Troop 112 that assisted in the cleanup here. The neighborhood of Ashbrook that's been very interested in this project. Um, Doug Callahan, who's been a big supporter, and the Sons of Civil War veterans. So we are very pleased that this would all come together. Um, we came upon this cemetery about 19 years when we moved in this neighborhood and uh, kept an eye on it for a very long time, seeing the destruction and the headstones that were dis in disrepair. Little did we know that there were some uh, Civil War vet that we found here in the cemetery. So my son felt it very important to keep the history alive of the cemeteries, the historical cemeteries that are around Indiana, um, and also to uh, have our younger generations be aware of the respect that we must give the veterans of all wars and we were, I would say, lucky enough to find a Civil War vet in this cemetery and was able to honor him today. The, the role of the cleanup of the cemetery, um, being his mother and his father assisted, we were the adults and I think there were probably 15 scouts and friends that were here. Um, it was a very easy day, it was cool and crisp in April. Um, the kids were very excited to be a part of this cemetery restoration and they all went down into the little creek that followed here. They removed very large trees and limbs. Uh, they found very interesting things. They found a, a bicycle from the 1950s that was buried in the mud. Um, and any time scouts can get in water, dirt, and mud, it is a very productive day. And these kids had a lot of fun, but got an awful lot of work done. So we're very proud of them. Um, it has really been a, a very exciting experience for us after doing uh, working with Sean and doing the research of some of the grave sites. Uh, Doug Callahan had an awful lot of information for us. Uh, Teresa Berghoff was great with the history uh, of a lot of the headstones and also a lot on the history of how um, people were buried back then with the footstone and the, the placement of the writing on the headstones facing west. So there was a lot of um, mystical history that we learned about the ways that people were buried back then. So all in all, it was an overall great education of just cemeteries, burial, and the people in the community, how interested they are in this.